Get out your passport, fellas. We are traveling to five different cities from around the world, and this is my second review for passport grooming. So welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And a newer company to the market, I uh, go back a couple months ago, I did a uh, an overall uh, review for the company. Really impressed with the, uh, the feel in beard from the uh, carrier oils and the butter. And then also you've got this really cool theme of different cities and having sense profiles to match that. I thought it was just a really cool idea. I love to travel. Just got back from a, a trip to Switzerland, uh, which was kind of cool. Um, but for, uh, I think last time I did seven cents. This time we've got five cents, including a new seasonal and then also a scent of the month for the world tour. So we've got, uh, let's see what we got here. Rome, which I've been to. Uh, Boston, which I have not. Nashville, I think I went to when I was a kid, but don't really remember it. Nassau from the Bahamas, I've never been. And New York City, which I have been to. I've actually been there on a Christmas which was a pretty cool trip. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about the prices and some of the uh, extra stuff there. And then we'll talk about these pretty cool scents last. Some very unique stuff here. So by the way, you can save uh, with the code BANJO10. Saves you 10% at Passport Grooming. You can get an oil or a balm or a butter all for $19.99. Uh, you can get a parfum uh, for $24.99. Uh, there's sample packs uh, that you can get and free shipping at the $70 mark. Uh, the Carrier Oil, since this is a newer company, I'll go over that again. feels really good. It's the 50% ostrich and ostrich and emu. Uh, those bird oils work very well for me uh, if you're into that. Uh, so 50% ostrich and then camellia seed, fractionated coconut, castor, blueberry seed, hemp seed, shark liver, golden jojoba, and argan. So just a a lot of good uh, carrier oils on that. I can't uh, recommend that highly enough to you. All right. Um, we won't go over the balm and the butter and all that stuff. I just have oils here to go over this time. So we've got a couple things going on. So we've got mainline scents and now we've got new scents of the month, which I think is under the world tour tab. So this one is a Rome and Rome is said to be lush uh, Italian ambrosia. It's icy limoncello. And this is kind of a weird one here. Dark ex espresso. Sweet, something I've never heard of before. Osmanthus. Sorry about that. Uh, fresh watercress, uh, freesia blossom, and light cologne. So kind of an interesting mix. Uh, so I like the fact that we're trying some different things here. It's not your run-of-the-mill type of scents. It's unique. Um, this one is okay. It's not my favorite. Um, but you do get like a lemon and uh, coffee is what you get uh, to start with. And then the coffee starts to go away. You do get a little bit more of the, uh, the freshness and floral stuff from the freesia blossom and the watercress. A little bit of cologne on the back end of that. But that one is Rome, scent of the month for June. Uh, that's only gonna be around for just a little while longer. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. And then the very first seasonal scent. So this is more of a summertime scent. It's gonna be around till the end of summer or till they run out, one or the other. And this is called Nassau. And I think this might be my favorite out of these and maybe out of all of the uh, the scents that I've received uh, from Passport Grooming. So you want to check into that if you like these summer type of profiles. So this one, let me find it here. Got a lot of notes here typed up. It is white grapefruit, pineapple, mango, sea salt, dark amber, black patchouli, and oceanic sandalwood. So uh, you basically when you read all that, that's what you get. Uh, out of the bottle, you do get that fresh grapefruit, mango, pineapple, all kind of hit at the same time. And then if you keep smelling it, it does not smell, it doesn't smell overly fruity. I know it's kind of weird, but it doesn't smell like candy. It doesn't smell fake. It's a little, little more authentic with fresh stuff. And then um, I think the, uh, the um, let's see, some of the patchouli and the sea salt kind of adds to that uh, natural smell. And then you do get a little bit of that dark amber and some sandalwood to smooth it out, make it a little bit more cologne-like uh, on that. I highly recommend checking out Nassau. By the way, these scent strengths are medium to slightly above medium, depends on which one it is. Um, so you're going to get anywhere from six to eight uh, hours for most of these. All right. Uh, and then we've got a couple of mainline scents that they've added since the last time. We have uh, Boston, which I think a lot of you guys are out there going to like Boston. I like it as well. I don't typically like this type of profile as much as some other guys do. I know this is a very popular one, but this is like your uh, blueberry tobacco scent. Um, so let me find it. It's ripe blueberry, white tea, tobacco, English leather, 
gunpowder and colonial spices uh, to match the kind of the Boston theme to that. So I'm not sure what the spices are, but you definitely get some spice to that. Uh, and then you get the blueberry tobacco and then the tea uh, and uh, English leather gunpowder kind of makes it not feel quite so much blueberry. It's a little bit more of the other stuff. So that's just a really good scent. If you like blueberry profiles, I know that's a very popular one on the uh, on the scene, even though it's not usually my favorite. Um, Next up, we've got New York City, and this is called the Big Apple, and this is kind of apple type of scent. So it's fresh apple, earthy oud, sporty cologne, dark musk, juniper berry, and Tahitian vanilla. I don't get tons of vanilla, which is good because I don't like tons of vanilla. It's um, a fresh apple. It's almost like you've got, uh, you know, you walk into a produce uh, up to a produce stand, they've got bushels of, and bushels of apples, maybe in the back of the truck or something. You just kind of smell that. Uh, that's what you get. So it's not overly sweet or fruity uh, or candy-like or anything like that. So it is a fresh apple. And then you do get a little bit of that smoothness with the oud and the cologne on the, and the dark musk on the back end of that. And like I said, I don't get much vanilla out of it. So I do enjoy that one. That one's not quite as strong in scent strength as some of the other ones. Uh, one that is strong uh, is Nashville. And this is a very unique barbershop blend. So check this one out. It's Honky Tonk Barbershop. This vintage barbershop, Tennessee whiskey, fiery musk, earthy patchouli, dark talc, and root beer. And the, I don't like root beer. Um, so this is, turns me off a little bit to this one. But I think if you are just a connoisseur of kind of unique profiles and you like a uh, barbershop type of scents, uh, this one's going to be for you. It's fiery musk. I don't really get anything too fiery or too spicy on that. Uh, you do get a little bit of the patchouli and the whiskey to give it a little bit more edge to go along with a, like a traditional barbershop and the talc kind of bit and the root beer uh, on that as well. So very unique uh, scents. I can tell it's kind of a labor of love creating these particular scent profiles for the, the cities. It's pretty cool. Let me know what type of city you would like to see a scent come out for and what do you think that profile would be. All right. Um, so that's all I got for today. And as always, appreciate you guys watching. Check out uh, Passport Grooming. And as always, We'll be seeing you soon.